I remember the days of PlayStation 1 when Mario Kart was my favorite video game. Every time I played with my friends, Toad was the character I would always choose. I don't know, I just loved how tiny and how cute it was. To the channel guys today we are taking a trip down memory lane to the earliest days of super mario today we'll be modeling my favorite little mushroom character to right in blender as usual we'll be covering the modeling texturing lighting and rendering right so without further ado let's jump right into it <music> Before we start modeling our tiny friend, make sure you've got Blender 3D installed and ready to roll. I'll make sure to leave the download link in the description so that you can download it and then you can continue or you can follow along. To make things a lot easier for you guys, I'll leave a link to the blend file in the description. You can download it and play around with it anyhow you want. Feel free to tag me on IG if you do post your renders on Instagram. Now let's start by adding a reference image to make sure that Toad looks just like the one from Mario Kart. Alright, so I've already found a nice image, a nice reference image that we are going to use. I'll leave a link to that to the image in the description. You can check it out and then download it and then you follow along. So basically launch Blender and then click on general and then after that you can delete the camera, the default cube and then everything that is in there so that you can start with something with an empty workspace all right so you press shift c on the keyboard select image and then select reference reference image then you can locate the reference image wherever it is on your pc and then you open it now imagine we are modeling a clay figure we will have to start with some basic shapes cubes and probably some spheres right and then gradually we are going to refine them into our beloved tool Basically, all I did here is that I added a couple of cubes, added a subdivision modifier, switched to the edit mode, and then moved the vertices of the cube to form the shape of Toad's body. Alright, so basically, that's all I did over here. Now let's give to some limbs. With the hands, I added a plane, tab to go into the edit mode and then press E on the keyboard to select all the vertices. Then press M to merge all of the, all of them at the same time to create one vertex. Alright, then you can extrude the singular vertex to form the arm. Alright, I then added a skin modifier and then a subdivision modifier. For the fingers, I just extruded them from the vertex to create, you know, to create them. You can increase your subdivision level to about 3 to give it that smooth and fine look, alright? And of course, we can't forget about Toad's snazzy vest and its red spotted mushroom cap, alright? So adding this element is like the cherry on top. For the mushroom cap, you can select the bottom face of the cube with the subdivision modifier, insert a face at the bottom and then move it up the Y axis just a little bit in a way that you can get the shape, that circular shape on the inner side, alright? You can scale or adjust the vertices to you know properly shape it in order to fit his head properly. For the vest, I stole some geometry from his body. You can do that by selecting the body tab to go into the edit mode, toggle the face select mode on, and then select the needed faces. After that, you can press Shift D on the keyboard to duplicate those faces, then press P to separate them. Alright, then you can add a sh the shrink wrap modifier and then set the body as the target all right you can then continue to extrude some of the edges and then move some around to modify the vest remember to add a solidifier modifier to give it some thickness all right those face is where all the character comes to life all right let's add 
those cute eyes and then that iconic smile all right remember i told you it's always happy so we need to make sure that we are able to portray that for the eyes i added a sphere with shift a and then you give it a subdivision modifier scale the sphere on the x-axis to create something like an oval shape a vertical oval shape now you can place the eye on one side of the face then add then give the sphere a mirror modifier all right so after giving it the mirror modifier you can set the target to the head so the head becomes the target and then you'll notice that the other side of the face gets the other eye all right and remember to right click and shade smooth so that you can have that smooth you know that smooth feel now to that iconic smile simply add a circle with shift a rotate it at 90 degrees on the x-axis you can box select one half of the circle then press x to delete the vertices all right now select both ends of the open semicircle and press f to fill it up you can then press e to select all the vertices press f to fill it up then tap back into the object mode and give it a solidify and bevel modifier now move the ship towards Toad's face a little bit specifically where his mouth is supposed to be now you can select his head, give it a boolean modifier, and set the object to the semicircle shape. All right. You might have to increase the subdivision of the head to avoid having some mesh issues around his mouth. All right. So for the tongue, you can add a sphere and scale it down a bit on the y-axis, make it a bit flat, and you can place it somewhere within his mouth. For the backdrop, simply add a plane, tap to go into the edit mode, extrude the bottom edge. On the x axis and then add a bevel modifier make sure to increase the bevel a bit then right click in the object mode and then select shade smooth position your view to where you want your camera to see press shift alt 0 on the keyboard to set your camera to that view all right you can use the object data properties to set the focal length and then you can fine tune the camera's position as well to change the render resolution use the render properties tab all right you can also set your samples and render the noise level in there all right so i'll advise you that you set your render engine to cycles because we'll be rendering with cycles but if your pc can't really handle cycles you can stay with ev all right Hurriedly, i'll advise you keep your render samples at 80. before we start texturing let's set up some nice lighting all right this is where tool will truly come to life in the 3d world my light setup is actually quite simple first press shift a add an area light and move it up above the set and a little okay then add one more area light and then position it to to light up the backdrop all right add one more light and then move it a bit in front of toad and to the side a little then rotate it to face to face him and then that will be it for the area light now there is one last light which is the rim light so for the rim light just add a plane, scale it up and rotate it at the x-axis at 90 degrees, alright? Then place the plane behind the backdrop, alright? And then later on in the material properties, we will give it an emission shader, which is going to give it the ability to light up the scene for us. And then it will create that rim light around to alright? Now time to add some textures. To save some time, I'm going to show you guys the new setup for each of the parts. Alright, it's actually quite simple. It's a simple setup, so it's nothing difficult. I'm, I'm just going to show it to you on the screen. You can pause the video and then you can take a good look at it. Or if you want to, how, however you are going to do that, I think you can just take a look at it and then you can do it. Alright, click on render at the top left side of the workspace and then select render image. And there guys, you have it. We've turned a blank workspace into our favorite Mario Kart character, Toad. I hope you found this video very much helpful and interesting. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't be discouraged if your first Toad isn't perfect. Keep modeling and improving and then you'll definitely get there. Thanks for joining me on this 3D modeling adventure today. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more exciting 3D modeling content. Until next time, happy gaming and happy modeling.